Three quotes. Looking from the window above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Yazoo. Only you, 1982. And you know, there's no such thing as society. Margaret Thatcher, 1987. I'm lonely here. There are no poets here. Oh yes, one or two, there's always one or two, but mostly only makers of money. Arnold Wesker, Beautles Hill, a play for Basildon, 1989. 2024, Act, a poem for Basildon. We were the great experiment. The babies born wild into this new Jerusalem. Our blameless, fucked up parents dragged onto fast track conveyor belts, delivering us all screaming in blooded, ragged beauty, our birthmarks exposed. The town planners, in celebratory shock, coughed bile from cheap tipped cigarette fumes, got pissed blind on tepid Watney's Party 7, while snapping Harold Wilson's pipe and singing World Cup Willie. Here was their fortune. Here was our future made. This was Basildon. A strange loved for mica futurist Essex Delta dream paved with pearly lined brutalist estates and never ending pursuits of green shield stamps. Our east ended mums and dads arriving on promises of indoor toilets and hope of working hard in the new factories, shopping centres and breeze block building sites forever gazing back at a beloved estuary. Out of time now and out of reach. For now, there were new names for them to conjure. Craylands, Pitsy, Alcatraz. In pushchairs, we were trundled along as if prizes in a town centre parade. The shops, the fountain, sharp light, dull talk, cold, hot fog. A clock like a billiard ball ticking as if chance was running slow and out already, compressing the winds the losses. We'd have rubber sandwiches in cafes that played chirpy, cheap, beautiful pop music. In the aisles of Tesco's, Timothy White's and the cut price mince merchants of the shouting market, we'd always be looking and listening for our early notes. At school, we coloured in castles, staged wars in the playgrounds, failed at kiss chase. Sometimes we'd go to the seaside, cockles, mussels and cut glass on the shore. We never saw a black girl or boy, except Cassius Clay or Diana Ross on the telly. When two arrived in the classroom, we played with them as if they were dolls. They never came to our birthday parties, we'd never see them on a Saturday morning. Confused to the reasons we made inquiries, got clipped ears when asking for more. Elsewhere, on the other side, beyond the refinery, in the garden parties of a confident older England, Mick Jagger sang of untidy Kentish wives with 19 nervous breakdowns and clutched blister packs of mother's little helpers. And in Liverpool, another estuary. The Beatles swoon triumphantly of love and a diamond encrusted Lucy and her murmuration into a Mersey Dockland sky. Here, in this Basildon, we could not even hold a tune. Not yet. Not for a while. The train stopped in our town in 1974. Our new station was like Cape Canaveral. Tickets to London, a journey to Mars or Jupiter, Petticoat Lane or Upton Park. In 1976, the roads melted. We wrote our names in the tarmac, squinted in sweat as we learned wood and metal, how to bake a cake, stitch and sew into our new tomorrows. In Raquel's discotheque, dancing to Travolta, kissing under the palm tree, a girl got pregnant, then the holidays to Benidorm, the 
bullfighting posters on our walls, a ballet of death. We were happy in parts, our town immune and tranquilised, a glass concrete piece. On the telly again, young men with bad teeth told a goading presenter to fuck off. Questions in the House of Commons about bringing back the birch and national service. In our houses, we went to our bedrooms. John Pill and Anarchy giving us enough rope to become NF, soul boys or punks. Creation quickening inside of us. Finally, the song to sing. Then came, where there is discord, may we bring harmony. The chrysalis cracked. Outside of here, there was a war, unemployment, strikes and riots, but they loved her. In Basildon, her trick was to divide and rule, buy your home, be better than your neighbour. Our parents became competitive and mean, a hurricane blew hate and our houses down. We acted in plays, formed bands in our kitchens, brought keyboards from toy shops. We signed on the doll, wore long coats, ate beans on toast in front of Top of the Pops as one of our own gazed from the screen. If they can do this, then why can't we? The town began to fold in. A plastic, barclay carded royal flushed, busted in debt in the shops, satellite TV and laminated flooring. Us, the artists were viewed with suspicion, a luxury carpet only we rolled in. No one invited us to our theatre, our library, a place in the world. Other pop stars came here, the kids waiting twice around the block, singing their hits. We got drunk on disappointment in the pubs. Ecstasy came and a young girl died of thirst. Our own Top of the Pops band became the biggest in the world. They never spoke to us. Some of us left for London. Some headed north, south and west. Some put down their pens and synthesizers. They gave up their good. Disappointment is the greatest heartbreak of all. A few fault, a resistance against the power of disinterest. A puppeteer here, a poet there. These were the troubadours that time forgot. But time does not care about their feelings. Basildon, the future has faded like a record. The needle popping and jumping as if a message. The tribute bands roar. The shops boarded up, heads are down, but our story must continue. Artists of Basildon, it's innate to create. No one is going to gift you, so gift yourself. Take your purpose proud, fight for it with absolute love. Act now, not tomorrow. We, the ones who came before, demand this. We lived in this town and perhaps still do. So, paint, sing, write, dance, bang that drum in the estates, the streets, the pubs and shops. Take clay, mold it with truth, bake it hard until unbreakable. Cement a future new. Deliver that screaming, blooded, ragged beauty. Hand it on. Reach out and touch faith. <laughs>